All right, I am going to run through assignment number five because three quarters of the class have finished it. I'll probably just do it twice. All right, so which one of the following statements is false of chemical reactions? The rate of chemical reactions depend on temperature, pressure, and the presence of catalysts. Yeah, maybe. Um, mostly catalysts. Um, chemical reactions only occur when energy is added. Well, that's not true. Chemical reactions always transform one or more substances into one or more different substances. Well, that wouldn't be a chemical reaction if that wasn't true. Chemical reactions always involve a change in chemical composition. Better be even ice, isomerase reactions. Chemical reactions always involve the forming and breaking of chemical bonds. Even true with redox reactions. So I'm going with the B is false. Which of the types of reactions is XY plus water equals XHOH. That is your standard hydrolase reaction using water to cut a bond. Which of the following statements is true regarding thermodynamics and kinetics? The second law of thermodynamics states that the total entropy of a closed system will always increase. Uh, I'm going true with that one. Yeah, so we'll see what's wrong with the others. Uh, enzymes change the equilibrium constant. They do not. Enzymes have no effect on the free energy. Uh, kinetics is determined by a combination of enthalpy and entropy. No thermodynamics is, not kinetics. In general, more disorder means less entropy. That's actually the inverse there. So, Kinetics determines the direction of the reaction. No free energy does. So it's again just a lot of times I'm just swapping one word out on these that makes it incorrect. So, Which one of the following molecular entities cannot be classified as an enzymatic cofactor? As we know, cofactors cannot be proteins. So, so here we have coenzyme A. That is a coenzyme. Um, enzymatic cofactors are cofactors are coenzymes are always cofactors. Steroids could be a cofactor. ATP, uh, well, it's not often a cofactor, but it could be. Oxygen transport protein, hemoglobin protein. That's the word there. Creatine, an organic molecule. Nope. So the one of the things that cannot be cofactors are proteins, and hemoglobin is a protein. Which one of the following molecules could would be classified as an enzyme? Sometimes I have the tip here that there's a specific naming system to enzymes, and that is the end in ASE. Uh, so catalase cannot, would be classified as an enzyme. Albumin is a protein, uh, but it's not an enzyme. So. Which one of the following statements is false about Gibbs free energy? Delta G equals delta H minus T times delta S. Delta S is the change in entropy. That is true. Enthalpy is associated with the heat content of a system. That is true. Temperature is the temperature in degrees. Kelvin. When delta G equals zero, the reaction has reached equilibrium. When delta G is greater than zero, the reaction is called uh, non-spontaneous. So it's uh, degrees are in Kelvin, not Fahrenheit. In science, we barely ever use Fahrenheit. If delta G not prime is greater than zero, what is the value of K prime EQ? So greater than zero means non-spontaneous, which means the equilibrium rate <clears throat> would be in the reverse direction. K prime EQ cannot be negative. So we can immediately get rid of one, two, and three. Can't be zero. So we can get rid of those. Um, inf is not quite working there. Uh, could it be positive one? That would be where delta G is equal to zero. Greater than positive one means four direction spontaneous. Um, I'd say between zero and positive one would be the correct answer here. Sorry, I eliminated it because it can't be zero, but it can be between zero and one. Uh, which one of the following energy requirement categories correspond to the term breaking down food? That would actually release energy. And so that completes our assignments. I thought I'll do a quick run through again. Um, check to make sure I got them all right. Cool. Eight out of eight, four minutes. All right, let's do it again. I'm still waiting for another students to complete the assignment six to do that one. If we have enough students to do the, um, blah, 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 the practice for the midterm, I will be happy to give it again. Which one of the following molecules would be classified as an enzyme? Sucrase has the ASE ending. 
Coenzymes cannot be protein. Fatty acids are not protein. Carbon dioxide is not protein. AMP is not protein. In order to be an enzyme, you need to be a protein. All right, false about chemical reactions. For chemical reactions to occur, the chemical identity of substances must change. I want to say that's true. The rate of chemical reactions depends on temperature, pressure, and the presence of catalysts. We had that one before. Chemical reactions only occur when energy is released. That's not true. Chemical reactions are always either exothermic or endothermic. I guess they could be isothermic. But that would be pretty rare. Salt dissolving and water breaking ionic bonds between sodium and chloride is a physical reaction. Yeah, this is a kind of more of a... We are breaking the ionic bond. Man, I'm gonna. I'm kind of gonna throw the question on that one. Um, I wrote these questions, so I should probably revisit some of those. Which one of the volume energy requirement categor ca categories correspond to the term formation of polymers that were required creating chemical bonds, which requires energy input? Which one of the following statements is false? Both gives free energy. Entropy is associated with this state of disorder, randomness, or certainty. Yeah. T is the temperature in Kelvin. That's what we got last time. When delta S is less than zero, the reaction is called non-spontaneous. No, that actually has to do with delta G. If you have a large enough... Actually, delta S being is negative, so that actually would make it more likely to be spontaneous. Um, Or sorry, non-spontaneous because it's negative. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but anyway, it all depends on delta H as well. Delta G is a change in free energy when delta G is reached an equilibrium. Which one of the following statements is false regarding thermodynamics and, and kinetics? Thermodynamics determines the direction of reaction will proceed under specific conditions. Yes, thermodynamics describes the equilibrium point of a reaction. Correct. Enzymes are consumed by the reaction they catalyze and must continually be replaced. That is incorrect. They are catalysts and therefore are, re are not consumed. The change in free energy of reaction is related to enthalpy and entropy and changes if the reaction. Sure. Uh, equilibrium constant is related to the standard change in free energy delta naught prime of a reaction. That is also correct. When K prime EQ equals 1, the value of delta G is equal to 0. Which one of the following reaction types can be represented by X minus plus Y equals X plus Y minus? So it looks like we're transferring an electron. Be nice if that was a little bit cleaner, but nonetheless. That's a redox reaction. Which of the following molecular entities cannot be classified as an enzymatic cofactor? Again, non-proteins. Magnesium is not a protein. Does the monophosphate not a protein? Transcription factor proteins. Those are proteins. Estrone uh, is not a protein. Vitamin A is not a protein. So uh, I'm curious if I missed that reactions one. I did not. Um, but makes me consider some of those other statements might be wrong. Anyway, uh, if you do feel like you get run into a question that you're kind of confused on, I think the best way to do it is to drop the screenshot of the question on Discord or something. Uh, I'd be happy to answer it that way. Uh, otherwise, you know, ask away. That's what I'm here for to help um, fix confusing problems, especially ones caused by my homework assignments.